What's up everybody, we're back with another raid guide and today we're taking a look at Champion of the Light on Mythic Difficulty. This encounter is the same for the Horde and the Alliance, they just have different animations. So I'll be going over most of the mechanics, how to deal with them and our overall tactic for this fight. If you're watching this, I'll assume you're familiar with the heroic mechanics, if not, feel free to check out my heroic Battle of the Zara lore guides. So for this encounter you want two tanks three or four healers and the rest being a healthy mix of ranged and melee DPS. The overall mechanics of the fight haven't changed all that much from heroic to mythic. There's only one new mechanic and that's Prayer of the Fallen. Calls for a moment of prayer for the fallen. All crusaders, living or dead, cast divine mallet. All disciples, living or dead, cast angelic renewal. So divine mallet, the crusader throws out hammers in all directions. Anyone hit takes a very large amount of holy damage. Just make sure you dodge these and don't hug the crusader that's casting this. And Angelic Renewal. The Disciples rejuvenates the soul of their Champion of the Light, healing them for their maximum health. This is interruptible and you can't let a single cast go off. You really don't want them to heal the boss. The boss will cast Prayer for the Fallen around 25 seconds into the fight and then roughly every 50 seconds or so. And due to the fact that it targets both living and dead adds, the fight will get progressively harder the longer it takes. More adds means more swirling hammers and more disciples to interrupt. Other than that, as I said, nothing has really changed. All the old heroic mechanics are in play and they work the same way. So how do we deal with all of this? We tank the boss in one of the corners and the adds on the opposite side. This again makes the blind easier to dodge, the waves of light never hits any players and the divine mallet from Prey of the Fallen becomes very easy to see. Just like in Heroic you want to ignore the adds during Seal of Retribution and just nuke the boss. It doesn't matter if the adds heals during this phase, of course if you can keep them low during Retribution it does make the Reckoning phase a tad faster but not mandatory. And as soon as Reckoning phase starts everyone swap to the adds and kill them off. Make sure to dispel the adds if they are hit by the wave of light during this phase, make sure that the adds aren't standing in consecration, grip or knock back if needed. Melee DPS, be on your toes a bit, if Prayer of the Fallen is cast, you don't want to stand next to the Crusader. The Divine Mallets really, really hurts. And of course, make sure to interrupt the Angelic Renewal when the Disciples cast it. If possible, you want the Crusader to die far away from the raid, just to make dodging the Divine Mallet a bit easier. This becomes more important the more adds you get before defeating the boss. If you only get one or two crusaders, I wouldn't worry too much, just don't let it die next to the range camp. On that note, when the adds die, the boss will cast Judgment Reckoning. Healers might want to use a cooldown here to top the raid, wait for the boss to cast Seal of Retribution and then go back to the boss. And at this point it's pretty much rinse repeat. Make sure that you have some ranged DPS assigned to interrupting the disciples during Seal of Retribution. And for you tanks out there, we had one tank on the boss at all time and one tank on the adds at all time, so we never tank swapped during this encounter. You can reset the sacred blade dot when the boss casts judgment retribution by getting far away from her. All DPS should be on the adds at this point anyway, so it doesn't matter if the boss runs around a bit. If you're a brewmaster, you can put your transcendence at the far end of the room away from the boss, otherwise you can use a gateway or a priest grip to get away fast. If this isn't working out for you, just tank swap when the first set of adds are dead. And for you healers, this fight really all depends on your overall raid DPS. The longer the fight, the more healing intense it will get. It all depends on how many zealotry stacks the boss will get. So if you play the fight well and with enough DPS, there will be pretty much no healing required at all. The tanks might get smacked around a bit, but that's about it. And that's pretty much it, that's the whole fight. In all fairness, this is heroic with an additional interrupt, so as long as you don't let angelic renewal go off, you'll be fine. You could also just try to zerg it down like you do in heroic. That is, if your DPS and healing is good, you can probably stack the disciples on the boss at the start and just tank the crusader away a bit. Cleave him down, the extra damage from the zealotry stacks shouldn't be an issue to heal through, if you have enough DPS to burn her down fast after that. And I think that pretty much covers this fight. If you have any questions at all, make sure to hit me up in the comments below. Don't forget to check out my Patreon if you'd like to 
to support my work. And as always, if you like these kind of videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button, leave me a like and ring that notification bell. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.